the first we heard about French on it was when it leaked in, in November. We were like, yo, French is on it. <laughs> like, and it was like, French Montana releases, like, unforgivable or something. <laughs> and, like, on, on the artwork, it said, like, unforgivable. And I was like, man, they couldn't even get that part right. <laughs> like, jeez. So One Mind is a group of three producers, um, me, Sebastian, Michael Lohmeyer. Um, we're all from Indianapolis. We all make music together. We also work independently. We're not together, but we, you know, we bounce ideas off each other. We've been working with Ram Riddles a lot, and that's his vibes, a lot of like dance hall. And so that was kind of like the the aesthetic that we had been like working on the past few months in terms of like almost yeah. ahead of the way. Almost yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As far as like the actual beat, the day of. Um, actually, I was down at Indiana University at, at their spring weekend, which is like a huge party. It's like their big party weekend of the year. So I'm like out with my friends, just like going to this party all day, just like having a great time, getting super lit, whatever. And then uh, <laughs> I get, I see this message on, on my Twitter from Oliver, like OVO Oliver, and he's like, it's like, yo, this is like our last session for views. Like, like send some more shit. If you guys have any last ideas, send through. So I see it, I'm just like, oh shit. Well, <laughs> I guess I probably do have to like make something right now. So I kind of like ducked off back to my to my friend's house, kind of did a little session for like four hours, and that turned out to be the unforgettable beat. And I sent it uh, back to Oliver, and he was like, yo, this is fire, like, hold on to it or whatever. Like, obviously, it didn't end up using it, but um, yeah, I think it worked out for the best. So the, the first thing I started out with was this little, um, some reverse guitar chords. So it was like a, a guitar chord that was in a pack or something that I, I could like transpose and like rearranged. I actually put a little delay on it and I automated the, the delay so you can kind of hear it like changing pitch a little bit as it's... Let's see if I can do it. Okay. I think the next thing was I probably put the bass in just to like see what kind of like vibe that would give it so this was the next thing that happened. And this bass I put like a bit crusher on. Just kind of give it like a different feel. Kind of like yeah. scream. Yeah. And then, you know, I had these kicks. So once I had that going, I knew it was, it was about to be, you know, a good little song for sure. I mean, the kick is like where the pulse is at, so the kick is kind of what like sets that foundation for the whole like vibe of the song. So I kind of wanted to have that like four on the floor knock just because I knew like that was like the dance wave, you know, that was what everyone was going crazy for. So and then after that, I put in the, the steel pan. I put another bit crusher on that too, just to give it like more texture, a little more atmosphere, just make it sound different because you know I, I knew a lot of people had been using that sound so I, I didn't want it to sound like exactly like what everyone else was doing so I tried to just like mess up the sound a little bit and like when I played it 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 worked I just played it like right off my laptop keys and it, it just worked really well I didn't necessarily think that that was going to be like the crazy sound in the beat but like that's the part that like everyone's been saying is like really cool so yeah I have a lot of little just like ambient like like vocal chops, you know, that I just like keep around in, in my database. This little voice right here. And then um, I put in this synth right here. And this one, I didn't really put too many effects on this. It was just basically as is. I just kind of took out some of the frequencies to give like the voice more room. But that was definitely a, a really cool sound that I think brought the beat to like another level. That's basically it. Like on, on the original beat, there was this like crazy like slow down at the end. And Sway actually recorded like a whole like 16 bar thing yeah, to that part and it was really cool, yeah. But you know, that didn't make it onto the final record. But I think, you know, they really like picked a, the most like concise version of the, of the of the bars and like pieced it together in a way that I thought was like pretty smart and pretty cool. One of our homies, he uh, he's like boys with Sway. So he actually played the track for Sway and then Sway jumped on it. And then I know they had a bunch of ideas whether or not to keep it or to shop it around and then eventually got leaked with other artists who weren't on the final version and then right. yeah there's a bunch of versions going around but then ultimately French decided he wanted it and then he kept sway on it and then bam it was a masterpiece and what's funny because this is where it starts to get to the point where like I had my original version and then I passed it off to Yegan and he kind of like 
actually just opened up the beat a little bit, like took out some of the extra sounds that I had put in, just gave it more space, added like some different drum sounds. So there's like a section where the drums actually switch up. Yeg and I just like really respect him as a producer. He's, he's super dope. So like I wanted to just see if he had any other ideas for it, you know, just like some switch ups that could just like bring it to another level. And you know, that was exactly what happened. So I, I just sent it his way. And like right away, he was like, yo, this is fire. Like when he sent me back the new version, I was like, this is a smash like the song will go 100 percent. so as someone who like worked on the record in like at the early stages and then to see like how much further they took it later in terms of like going to uganda to shoot the video like putting it out the way they did it was all super cool and then like you know this whole unforgettable dance challenge like the campaign raise money like for the healthcare in the community like that's super cool i mean you always want to see that like who doesn't want to see that um so i mean like i just feel super blessed to be a part of that um and to just like see how like somehow I made this like beat in like <laughs> in Indiana and like the kids are dancing to it in Uganda like that's that's crazy feel like I'm fresh out boost. if they want the drama got the ooze ship the whole crew to the cruise doing shit you don't even see him